in uh, our last tutorial, we started looking at the TR command, which is a nice little tool for uh, translating one character to another. Um, but you can also use other things uh, with TR to maybe group things together. Um, so once again, we're going to use the example of hello world, just because that's a good example. And we'll say TR. And of course, um, let me change this. I can say H. And I can say W, lowercase there. So I can say change all H's to capital H's. And we get hello world with a capital H. I could also say change all W's to oops, capital W's. And we can go through each letter. I can say E to a capital E. I can say L to a capital L. And when we do that, we start raising everything to uppercase. Now, obviously, we could just do something like this. And we should be able to uppercase, switch everything from uppercase to lowercase, or reverse it and go the other way. But there's no need to type out all those letters because there are things you can put in there to to represent all those letters. And there's actually two ways to do it uh, with TR. So let's say we have this and we want to um, change it from all, from what it is, all lowercase to all uppercase. Uh, what we're going to do here is um, put in inside our uh, braces here, we can say a, a dash Z which means from lowercase a to lowercase z, we're going to change everything to a lowercase a to a lowercase, or to an uppercase, uppercase a to uppercase z. So when I hit enter now, we get hello world. So basically, using the dash here is the same as typing this out as long as it's inside the uh, braces here. Same here, this brace, capital A to capital Z brace is basically the equivalent of typing this out. Um, although alphabetically, <laughs> not that it really matters. This is type type being A B C D E F G H I J K L M P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z all lowercase. Same here for uppercase. Here I kind of just did them in the order of my keyboard. So uh, that's one way of doing it. And of course you can go the reverse. Uh, so let's say let's just put this back to a capital H here and a capital W there. It makes it all uppercase we can also go the other route and say go from capital to lower and we'll make everything lowercase. Although there is another way of doing it because there tends to be when it comes to computers. We can say here we can say inside our braces then colons and in between the colons we can say upper and then we can say over here braces colons in between those lower and we should get all lowercase so we're converting upper to lower and doing the same thing over here well, here's a little trick for you too uh, you should be able to just highlight stuff and then center click which is clicking down on your scroll button on your mouse if you have one will paste within the terminal so or really anywhere in a Linux environment so now we're gonna say take all lowercase and convert them to uppercase and we get all uppercase so that's uh, two ways, or actually three ways, of doing the same thing. Um, is there an advantage to using this technique over this technique or the other way around? Uh, I don't know. For me, this is a little bit shorter to type. Um, if you know of any benefits of using one way over another, let me know in the comments. Uh, but I don't think it really makes a difference either way. So that's a quick look. Once again, in previous tutorials, I showed you that if you have a variable, uh, you can just call that variable, like so let's say our variable was x, which I think is still set up in my terminal here. So that's converting it all to lowercase, and this is converting it or displaying it as uppercase. Once again, if I just type in echo, previously I set my terminal x value to hello world, and we get that. So um, that's a way of doing it in Bash, which is great because TR is an external tool, which you may not have available. 
Um, but to do that, you have to have a variable, I believe, already set up, although there's probably a way to do it by piping. Um, so in this case, I'm saying hello world and putting it, outputting that, but let's say you're outputting a text file. Uh, you would have to throw that text file into a variable in the way that I'm doing it here. Uh, so TR might be a little bit easier, but uh, you may be forced to create a variable and do it this way if you don't have TR available, although there's other ways as well to convert case. So this is another look at just uh, converting uh, things from one case to another. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you enjoy all my tutorials. Once again, let me know what you like. If you like these bash tutorials, be sure to thumbs up and like this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And I just hope that you have a great day.